I was one of the first 400 people diagnosed with HIV AIDS in 1984. Diagnosed HIV positive after the diagnosis of my 14 month old daughter. And we lost her a week after her third birthday. I've lost friends through HIV. Like I just, the fact that he would still be here if it, if it wasn't for his status, that if people weren't the way they were to him. And Growing up, I was taught that if you had HIV or you had AIDS, that was it, it was a death sentence. Suffocatingly terrifying. I felt that I was falling down an endless, bottomless black pit. You would see your friends sick and dying in hospital, and the thought couldn't help but pass into your mind, when will this be me? It's been a journey. <laughs> uh, I was diagnosed in, uh, in New York City. Uh, I was by myself, and it was probably the most harrowing and terrifying experience in my life. It was a tough road for a lot of people. Really brave people, especially when they saw, you know, people dying around them to, to, to still fight, really. It was a war. It was a war. And, yeah, they're champions, heroes, really. I try to explain what HIV stigma feels like, and there's no way to explain what it feels like until you've experienced it. All my friends just disappeared. I was suicidal. Uh, I didn't want to... I didn't want to live anymore. I didn't think that I had anything value to offer the world. Having your safety taken away, having your, your sense of belonging taken away, and so you have to find where you belong and where you feel safe. And so I just discovered out of the blue this community of people living with HIV. Bobby Goldsmith showed me that I was worth something again, and that was invaluable to me. Bobby Goldsmith still provide that same feeling of support, love and care that they did when they first started back in 84. Being right there at the coalface, helping people living with HIV to thrive. I'm so grateful for BGF for giving you know, myself as an ally a place to experience that community, but also for other people a chance to feel like they're supported and they belong. They're very isolated. A lot of them are unwell. Bobby Goldsmith Foundation is the gap for them so they can actually live the lives that they deserve. VGF, to me, is hope and community. It felt like I had a friend to walk through the whole process with and that was something that I didn't have at the time and that meant the world to me because without that, I was on a downhill spiral and I really didn't see a lot to live for and they helped turn that around for me, which is just, I don't think there's enough words to really tell them how grateful I am for everything they've done for me. And given the chance, what would you say to your past self? I'd say, um, you will find love. that um, you made a mistake, but that's not all you are. And to reach out and ask for help, you don't have to do this alone. Donate to Bobby Goldsmith Foundation's World AIDS Day Appeal on the 1st of December. Head to bgf.org.au.